Again, a big shout out to everybody tuning in tonight. Always love seeing all the support for the Sinclair Saints. Now with Oasis, for everyone who does not know, but it is a capture point map, King of the Hill style, and it's a best of three inside of one game. Okay, so we got a similar, kind of similar dive combo, except Jub Jub's on a Doomfist instead of Widowmaker with this dive combo. Okay, Jub Jub finds Kinko, and actually Singularity found Bloom on his Genji right away. And oh, Jub Jub tries to burst him, but Kinko saying, absolutely not. Tearing him down. Okay, right around with Singularity with that bird's eye view on the Farah. Of course, the uh, extra blue with McCree, so Singularity does have to be extremely careful as like two shots he could go down from it. Pearl's taken down, uh, don't touch me, he's Diva Mech. A well played find Kinko once again. Jub Jub finding Yana. Singularity finding the main tank there, finding Reinhardt. So, so far looking good for Saints, but Bloom is back with the Genji alongside Galaxy's uh, uh, Zarya. But in the meantime, Saints kind of sneak the points because um, while they were jumping, I think they were just slightly off. So they're going to get the capture. And Kinko actually switching over to Tracer, getting right back into the fight and actually putting the pressure on the Dowling. Let's see how long he can hang in here. Doing a good job so far. Just managing the pressure and not getting too overwhelmed. Just boot him aside, forces a rewind. Um, Ragnaps goes down real early in this fight, unfortunately. Although Jub Jub answers right back with the kill onto Liana. Now, Transcendence is used, trying to keep everybody alive. The beat could possibly be dropped here from Dowling at any time. With a bomb taking him down instantly, I don't think he thought it would kill him. But he does go down, that's going to force the reset from the Saints getting up to 39%. Now, uh, yeah, well, it's kind of out of position, but okay, he's going to be able to jump out safely. He's kind of worried there for a moment. Barrage is ready for Singularity. Any other alts, actually? Yeah, we have the Valkyrie as well as the... Uh, but, okay, bombs him with the Barrage right off the start. Does find the Ana so, and the main tank as well with... Man. So that's some big damage. This is going to be probably a quick retake here for St. Clair Saints. Just a matter of dealing with Kinko. Finally takes him down. Jub Jub securing that up. All right, nicely done. So now we've got the four alts, the bomb, and the beat also included. As well as, I believe that was the... What is Winston's all called? <laughs> I forget, but... He's got his alt as well. Let's see if he can pop some damage onto that shield. Okay. singularity has got to be careful. Looks like Zenyatta's got his number. Make sure Blue on top of the point. The Graviton getting pop Forces the beat out from Dowling. Going to keep everybody alive through the pressure. Can man right there in the back line, but kind of forced it back up. Anna taken down here for Singularity. Far just seems to be finding him every single time. Although... It seems that uh, Electro Blue had the position there for a second to try and get a capture. But at the end of the day, the push and Singularity finishing things off, as well as Jub Jub Snag and a kill on Galaxy, keeping the dream alive here for the Saints. Oh my god, another kill actually from Singularity. Just staggering this even further. It's really bad for Lakeshore, especially with the point just ticking down. 95%. Somebody needs to touch that within like the next two seconds. Dragon Blade going to be the answer. Does get onto the point. Takes down Don't Touch Me. Takes down Dowling. Unfortunately, Singularity does get Bloom, but he blows himself up in the process. Deadeye coming down from Kinko, but doesn't find anybody. Don't Touch Me still on the point. And he seems to be the only one there for the Saints, unfortunately. It looks like Lakeshore Blue going to be able to take the retake on this point. 99%, so one more fight here for the Saints, and they could recapture this and get the win for the first round. I will not waste this yeah, singularity just poking at the moment, waiting for everybody to regroup. Of course, has Recknaps in his pocket, as always, just making those rockets. 
this thing big time. Especially if he can keep landing on onto the far, or not the far, the Ana like he's been before. Well played in the back line. Just going like with his ult on top of things, but the transcendence coming down from um, from Lakeshore. Kingo is no time. He took down the Farah. Down lane, trying to get the one on one, and he does get it. Nicely done. But this is still a pretty hefty task. There's still four to the two of Saints right now, so it's going to be a bit of a rough fight. Might have to try and retreat. Especially with Kenman charging. We've got Diva on Lakeshore charging, and as well as a Diva bomb coming out from Don't Touch Me, but he goes down after dropping it, so he's going to be staggered out a little bit. And that Quarrel's almost in a rough position. The Boop almost taking him down. Out of the Saints, just coming back to the point now. That was Jub Jub with an ult. Actually dodging the Reinhardt uh, Shatter, getting some <laughs> big damage and taking him down. In the meantime, Coral just denying Jub Jub. Deadeye coming down. Well played, denying the the ult going. Oh, never, that line did go off. It did take down Dowling. But it looks like well played and uh, Singularity able to take things out. Never mind, that was Don't Touch Me. He slept on the or just off the point. Galaxies right there doing somebody. Let's see if I can get in there. That's Bloom on the point. Beat coming down from Dowling. See if he can push through the Dragon Blade. Not going to be the case. 99 to 99. Next fight wins, basically. Dowling trying to stall for time, but it's not going to be enough. And Lakeshore Blue able to take the first round of game number two. All hope is not lost, though, as this is the best of three inside of game number two. See if our Saints can fight back. But nicely done so far from Grand Valley State University, a.k.a. Big Short Blue. Okay, so this point here, I believe, is the capture point it's in a circle area with one building in the middle try and use for some cover to, for like D.Va and whatnot. Okay, riding along. Well played. We just, let's see what kind of team comp we have here for our Saints. It is still the divey comp, so... I see. Okay, jumped up, getting a little bit of pressure here from the side of Lakeshore, but they actually Decided to jump down pretty well right away. Can man. Still trying to get into the back line, but does end up finding the tank, so it's not where he wants to be whatsoever. Don't touch me getting kind of low, though, from Can man's damage. Okay, pretty even so far with uh, Jump Jump going down, but I think one of them are down on the side of Galaxy. Never mind, Kinko going back to the Widowmaker and taking down Singularity. That's probably going to force him to switch off of the Farah. Uh, and that's going to be the point take for Lakeshore. Get to build some early percent here. And Bloom, as always, doing a ton of pressure. Well played, diving in, taking out Kinko instantly. Singularity was forced to switch. And then, well played, unfortunately. It was a little overextended, so he kind of dies early. We have the Diva Bomb here. Four, don't touch me. He's probably going to fire it in. No, nope, never mind. He's going to find Can Man. Try and put some damage onto him, then retreats. Facing Larry, trying to find some shots without putting himself into a bad position. Can Man, once again, in the back line, but he's going to be in for a rude awakening once he finds his Reaper. Forced to ult, and then the beat drop coming down from Dowling. From Recknaps, rather. Here comes the Diva Bomb. Actually, don't touch me, gets the Diva Bomb on the Diva. And then, unfortunately, Kinko's actually switched back to McCree. Then the blade coming out once again from Bloom. Can he clean up? It looks like he's doing a ton of damage, taking down at least three members of the Saint squad, including Jub Jub. And now, well played, still on the point, popping his alt with the dead eye going on. Going to take a ton of damage and actually get taken out. Bit of a rough spot here for the Saints. We don't have any ultimates on the side of Sinclair Saints. It's actually really rough. Couple switches made. Recknaps moving over to the Moira. Jub Jub now on McCree. Still going divey, but forcing a switch to some of these DPS players. Okay, well played. Dives in, goes right onto the Ana, but Bloom trying to back him up. 
does Dowling does take him down. That's actually two quick kills here for the Saints. Just a matter of dealing with this McCree from Kinko. Can they find it? Galaxy's actually here with D.Va as well. Gonna get demeched and probably gonna get taken out. Can Man gonna go down? Oh, maybe? Yeah, he's gonna go down. If, uh, Singularity can catch him. And he's actually gonna get away, so I played almost going down. Overtime is up at the moment, but doesn't matter. Saints are going to be able to stop this from, or stop this set from being over. Galaxy's in the middle of traffic. That's gonna be a little unfortunate. How long can he die? Oh, well. feels bad, man. I guess that's one way to not get yourself staggered. Okay, so Saints able to hang on to the point. Just barely. Get the capture on it. All right, don't touch me. Finding some of the action here with uh, make sure going right through the front door. Recknap stopping the dead eye from going off. <laughs> nice dive here from well played, but gets slept instantly. Battle still going on though. Singularity doing a tear in the back line, and that is going to be a strong hold here for Saints. I don't think Make sure had to use many alts for that. Just Kinko's dead eye, and that was it. Dowling just about to be able to drop the beat. We're at 60%, so Saints slowly but surely are getting back into this game. And Singularity, if you could find a, a nice drop, that'd be a beautiful opportunity to drop the ult. Oh, he's going to take quite a bit of heat getting down the half health before this fight even begins. He's going to try and take a sneak around the backside. Going to see if he can find the spots. He does find them, but he's going to opt not to. Probably wise, as the Doomfist is right on him. The Diva Bomb, that is on the side of Lakeshore. Barely taking him out. Oh, Transcendence, he popped it instantly, but he does... Oh, he actually, Bloom actually reflected the the uh, ult from, uh, from Singularity right back at him. Caught me off guard there for a second. Don't touch me finding Kinko on the Doomfist, though. Up to the Cam Man on the Winston, try and make this retake. 99-99 overtime in action. Singularity is back, does take down Can Man right away. Just trying to take down Galaxy, but Galaxy with that uh, defense matrix, keeping himself safe. Bloom coming down with the, the dra or an Anho boosted Dragon Blade. Finding two, finding three. There's four members down now for Saints. Recknap's the only one on the point. That is going to be the kill, and that is going to be the set. Lakeshore Blue, Grand Valley University. Going to take the win over the Saints this time. Well played. Play of the game going to Bloom, of course. This guy had so much pressure with the Nano Blade combo. Got quite a few kills within this game. Also won the end of the game, too, so. Well deserved, well played. And with that, that is the end of our matches here for our Sunday Tespa Overwatch doubleheader. This has been Danners commentating for you. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a great night, and we will be back again, actually with the Friday coming up, with our battle versus Lambton College. All of our teams are going to be doing battles against each other, see which school has the better program. Be sure to tune into that, and follow our social medias if you haven't already. Have a good night, everyone.